mention that we got from the city of Gresham uh, and we got a proclamation from the mayor, signed by the mayor, um, a proclamation for Community Media Day. Um, some wonderful things is said in here and also from Multnomah County Commission um, also is proclaiming October 20th as Community Media Day. This is the first ever and hopes to be an annual Community Media Day just yeah. to celebrate what we do bring to the community and, and appreciate the resource yeah. that we are. So I'm, I'm very proud of that. It's really exciting. I want to thank Metro East Community Media and their CEO, Marty Jones, uh, for being here today to proclaim October 20th as Community Media Day in Multnomah County. This proclamation also happens to coincide with Free Speech Week, which runs from October 17th through October 23rd nationally. Community Media Day celebrates and brings awareness to the importance of free speech and accessible media for all citizen journalists who wish to tell their stories. We must support organizations that enhance civic engagement and inspire diverse voices from our community to participate in electronic media. By providing access to all individuals, we open up the dialogue for those new voices to participate. Community media gives everyone in our community access to resources, ensuring that all voices are heard. It is important that we continue to promote free speech and civic engagement through local media in Multnomah County. Now we'll hear from Marty in Metro East Media. Thank you for being here, Marty. Thank you for having me, Madam Com uh, Chair and Commissioners. It's great to be back again. I, I was here uh, about uh, 120 days ago when you approved our budget, and, and I was transitioning from the leadership of uh, Rob Brading for 24 years at Metro East to now my first 100 days. Uh, I am uh, glad to report that all is well in East County. Uh, I'm having a wonderful time working with um, a super talented staff and an incredible group of volunteers. And uh, this opportunity to begin something new that was launched by our Alliance for Community Media this past summer at our annual conference in Boston was this recognition of community media and beginning to celebrate um, this year and going forward um, Community Media Day. So thank you for recognizing us. Uh, you know, I think the, the a story that best puts this all into perspective is uh, I've been to the White House as a tourist, but I've never been invited to the White House. And uh, we did a project this summer with some youth, middle school kids, from uh, Gresham, specifically uh, many of them in the Rockwood neighborhood. And uh, we had a goal of uh, submitting a film to the White House Student Film Festival. It's a three minute film and it had a prompt. And the prompt was the world I want to live in. And so our group made a film, we filmed at the uh, Wapato prison. It was a really heavy subject matter. I was like, wow, these kids really want to tell a story. And when I saw the film, I was, I was impressed, I was moved, I was disturbed. And I thought, man, this might be too heavy for you know, a student film competition. But the message was about social justice and specifically the movies called Letters and Numbers. It was about youth incarceration. So we submitted the film and you know, sort of went on with the summer and I, you know, I had lots of meetings. And then we got an email from the White House saying that we could be coming into consideration for the festival. It was this oddly worded email. And to cut a long story short, um, out of over 700 films submitted from across the United States and all of our territories, as far away as you know, Guam, our movie was invited to the White House. And this little film, shot here in Multnomah County by middle school students uh, that are in the Reynolds School District and, and some other nearby districts, uh, and along with our staff and some volunteer producers, uh, was invited to the third annual uh, White House Student Film Festival. Now another group from Grant High School came. They, the big kids, were finalists. <laughs> we won an honorable mention and they invited the top 27 films and their teams to the White House. So I was making the mistake of saying, oh, I was taking some kids to the White House. And then as I was writing about it for our newsletter, I corrected myself and said, some kids took me to the White House. <laughs> because their vision, their work, the empowerment that came through their minds and what's at the top of the mind for them, social justice and youth incarceration, 
became something that stood out from the ether from around the country. And so that just put so much wind in my sails when I stood on the South Lawn of the White House and took a picture of these kids and realized we went from Rockwood to the White House and the transformation for them and for me and the other adults in 24 hours was incredible. And so to put into perspective Community Media Day, that's what it's all about and your support and continued support of what we're doing at Metro East and what our sister organization here in Portland is doing, uh, Portland Community Media. Um, it's, it's putting the, the free exchange of ideas out there and from young people to our, our elders and, and seniors that work with us uh, and all points in between, it's amazing. So thank you for your support of us. Um, I thought you'd enjoy hearing this story. The, the White House rolled out the red carpet. The Kids Film Festival started the whole event. They brought in Alfre Woodard as the uh, uh, host and, and Ty Burrell from Modern Family and then all the kids from this hit show that the kids went crazy about on Netflix called Stranger Things were there. And it was just amazing. And the next day we were invited to South by South Lawn. And, um, uh, just seeing that was amazing. And then a special thanks uh, to other elected officials. The, day, the next day, they had a late flight coming back. We jumped into a car and had been working with Senator Wyden and Senator uh, Merkley and, and, and Congressman Blumenauer's office to get them a tour of uh, the uh, Capitol. And that was great. They got to take the little secret underground train from the Senate <laughs> office building. And it was just amazing to just experience this firsthand. It was our first plane trip, you know, first trip to Washington, D.C., you know, uh, and, you know, 20 Secret Service check-ins later, you know, they were still smiling and, um, you know, had an opportunity to meet with um, representatives, legislative aides in the senator's offices. And um, many of those people were millennials and had watched the film and said, this movie really touched us, touched me, they said. And... Um, that really just put the wind in my sails and, and just makes me really proud to represent our area and to you know continue the work of community media. So thank you for your support. Thank you for your continued support. Commissioner McKeel, you know, hats off to you for a wonderful round of service. I'm sure you'll be back here like Governor Roberts talking about something really important sitting in, sitting in these yeah. chairs. <laughs> uh, no earthquake drills, I hope. Um, and um, you know, really, your support is, is, is greatly appreciated and, and we'll miss you. And, and we know that your family has had connections. Your son has done things at Metro East and hope you'll tell more neighbors and friends to come and take classes. You know, it's only 25 bucks. You can take all the classes you want. We'll, we'll glad to ha help you put a show on the air. <laughs> so once you've had a little bit of vacation, you know, please come visit us. And, and just thank you very much. I, I really, um, I can't thank you enough for what you're doing for our area. Thank you. Madam Chair, uh -huh. I have another question. Yes. Yes. So how can we dial up what channel? Like oh. How do we get to see letters and numbers? If it, well, it's, well, right now it's probably a little buried on our Facebook page because we've had so many elected officials at Metro East the last week. We've, I think, got 50 posts from all the different candidates that are running. What I will do is have our office send you the um, release that has the link to, we'll send it to Commissioner McKeel's office and yeah. she can forward it on that has the link to the movie and um, link to photos from behind the scenes. It is on our YouTube channel. So if you go to Metro East Community Media and put in letters and numbers, you know, if you put that into your YouTube search, you'll see it. But it's a wonderfully powerful little film. And, um, you know, I know Wapato has been in the news and we're thankful that we had access to being able to use it to express this really important story. Thank so, you. Thank you. And congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any other questions or comments from the board? Madam Chair, I just have a, a couple of comments. Thank you so much. And I'm very proud of you and the kids because what happens is when you when you go there and they can experience what, what DC is all about, especially coming from Oregon, it's, it's really good. And I want to thank Commissioner McKeel for bringing this proclamation forward. Um, especially to recognize Community Media Day and how much you all play a role and a part of what we do every day. And 
every week and connecting people with information, uh, being active participants in the government. Uh, it helps community members educate and inform themselves and their families and how to think critically. So kudos and thumbs up to you. And that was a great story. You should, you should tell it again on, on uh, camera. And you know, our commissioner said that the other night. <laughs> <laughs> that would, you have the students come in, or Commissioner McKeel, when in her spare time next year, you know, kind of come and moderate this conversation. So, thank you, thank you for bringing that back and sharing it with us. Thank you, Madam Vice Chair. I appreciate it. Uh, yep. Go, go ahead. ahead. Uh, Chair, I just want to thank you, Marty, for being here. And um, I agree with Commissioner Smith. I think you should tell the story from Rockwood to the White House. I yeah. think there's the title. The and title. I think we yep. should tell that story. And uh, I just want to say that um, having uh, Metro East community uh, media in East County is huge. I mean, it is a gem out in East County, and it's and it's amazing access um, for for young people, but for all the citizens of um, East County. And so, um, and yes, my son that worked in television news did start there in fifth grade, I think. So <laughs> I guess maybe you know we're on the record, but I can officially say this. Can I have forty five more seconds? Mm -hmm. As of 4.32 yesterday, we um, entered into an agreement with the Gresham Redevelopment Commission to set up a pop-up digital studio in Rockwood. And so you've heard about Rockwood Rising and the development that's going there and, you know, they're raising money and getting tenants and, you know, we're hoping to be a part of the permanent um, structure there. Um, but we really, in the process of going through this, you know, we want to do something that's organic and important to the community in Rockwood, and we didn't want to come in with a pre-described notion of a program. So we came up with this idea of using the now uh, vacant um, Rockwood Community Outreach Center. Uh, used to be a police precinct, I think, at that Fred Meyer site. We're going to use half of it to set up this digital equity and inclusion lounge. It's part of the digital equity action plan that um, the Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission has spearheaded with 20 other agencies uh, around the, uh, the city. And so we're part of some of the action goals. And you know, there's a broadband desert in Rockwood. And so um, we're going to be putting a, a place together. It's going to be very experimental. It's not going to be Metro East Rockwood. It's going to be focused on digital equity and inclusion, and we um, will be opening that up in early January, and we're working with the Multnomah, Multnomah County Library nearby, the Rockwood Branch, um, Mount Hood Community College, Small Business Development, uh, WorkSource um, Oregon, hopefully, and even um, the nearby um, Rockwood United Methodist Church, different people that are in that area, the Rockwood CDC, to help us get people to this spot and we're going to just sort of organically figure out what they want. I, my one architecture class in college, the architect got in trouble when she finished all these buildings and they didn't lay the sidewalks. And the architect said, we'll be back in the spring. We're going to lay the sidewalks as the people have laid their path. And that stood, with, stood out to me, you know, 30 some years later since college, that you know, you, you can have these great designs for things, but it may not be what people want. And so what we're going to do with this uh, Rockwood pop-up, or we're calling it uh, Rockwood DIY, kind of a playoff of do-it-yourself, but digital inclusion in youth, is use this spot to learn what the community wants. We know they need access, we know that they need some training, and we know that they need some devices. So we're sort of going to go in with those three things and then organically figure out what it's going to be. So the next 18 to 24 months should be really exciting. It's a, it's a test site. It's only for two years, um, but we're really happy that this has um, been uh, 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 put into place and, and incredibly indebted to the Gresham um, Redevelopment Commission for um, making this happen for us. That's so, very exciting. Mark, thank you. You're I, the first people to hear about it outside you know, of our staff. You and your board have been working on this for a while with yes. the Redevelopment Commission. Yeah. So I'm happy to hear that um, yeah. it's happening. Yes. So, yeah. So and gonna, I think having kind of a pilot project will be really helpful um, uh, as you look to longer term so, there. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you. 
Um, are you working with Comcast at all with the broadband? I noticed that you said that there was a um, broadband desert in, in Rockwood. Uh, I know they've been trying to do a whole lot with underserved communities and even with um, HUD properties that they're trying to put in broadband to, to, to help low-income families. You may want to give them a call and see if there's something that you can partner on because it is really, really a big resource. They have something that they call Internet Essentials where they put um, hardware and um, low-cost Internet for uh, families who are on free and redu reduced lunch. So they may have a broader kind of category that you might be able to um, to engage with just to try. And um, Madam Vice Chair, we, we are going to do that. Um, another event that um, I think it's the Office of Neighborhood Engagement, mm -hmm. City of Gresham is doing, Aaron Abrams is bringing a group of us together to do a day of, um, a day. we're trying to come up with a better name, but the, the, the essence is a day of, digital equity and inclusion for members of the community. And I know that they're going to be having Comcast and I think Frontier serves part of that area and other people there to help get people online and to find services. So um, yeah, we're, we're talking um, to them in these groups. I haven't had a specific conversation. I think I'm encouraged by what you're saying yeah, to you follow up one-on-one. -on -one. I've just recently met the um, Comcast team, you know, they were on, you know, uh, uh, my list, and I just met the other day at our Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission hearing, so I think that's a good idea. They're really great. We helped the Rockwood Head Start out there, mm -hmm. get computers, and had a great event out there, and I know that they want to go m deeper into the community, so just call them. Thanks. Thank you. I'll, uh -huh. I'll, I'll follow up and report back. I know Mr. Hawker, so I know how to get a message. Thank to, you. Yeah. Right, any other questions or comments from the board? Wonderful. All those in favor, vote aye. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Marty, do you okay, should I? I yes, okay. go ahead. All right, I brought my, I brought my progressives. Uh, before <laughs> the Board of County Commissioners for Multnomah County, proclamation number 2016-106, declaring October, 20, uh, 19, <laughs> October 20, 2016 as Community Media Day in Multnomah County, Oregon, the Multnomah County Board of Commissioner finds A, the sharing of ideas and information helps to build common understanding and common values within a community. Access to information in today's media environment is critical for the healthy functioning of our community. B, community media organizations provide a means for the diverse communities of Multnomah County to tell their stories, hear each other's stories, and create new stories together. They provide people with the skills necessary for the creation, sharing, and consumption of knowledge and ideas through media that is outside of the mainstream. C, community media connects community organizations, schools, and local governments to their constituents, providing an important resource for people to participate in the process of democracy and policy creation. D, in many communities, people are not aware of the diverse and valuable programming on public education and government access channels or community radio channels. Communities will benefit from increased general awareness of viewing audiences for and creators of media content created by and for the community. The Multnomah County Board of Commissioners proclaims October 20, 2016 as Community Media Day in Multnomah County, Oregon. Metro East Community Media plays a vital role in the building of our community by encouraging conversations about common interests, interesting, increasing discourse around policy issues, fostering understanding of local cultures, and sharing information to improve our lives. Adopted this 20th day of October 2016, Board of County Commissioners from Multnomah County, Oregon, Deborah Kafuri Chair. And um, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Commissioner you. McKeel, for putting this forward into your staff. We really appreciate it. All right. Now we'll vote and make it official. <laughs> thank you. All those in favor, vote aye. 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 The proclamation is adopted. Thank you Thanks very much. Coming. Have a wonderful day and happy yeah. Community Media Day. Yay. Right. <laughs> Next is a little presentation, a proclamation. And I will read it. City of Fairview, Office of the Mayor Proclamation proclaiming October 20th, 2016 Community Media Day. Whereas the sharing of ideas and information helps to build 
common understanding and common values within a community, and whereas access to information in today's media environment is critical for the healthy functioning of our community, and whereas community media organizations provide a means for diverse communities to tell their stories, hear each other's stories, and create new stories together, and whereas community media organizations provide information to the community that is not covered by the mainstream commercial media, and whereas community media organizations provide people with the skills necessary for the creation, sharing, and consumption of knowledge and ideas through media, and whereas community media connects community organizations, schools, and local governments to their constituents, and whereas in many communities, people are not aware of the diverse and valuable programming on public education and government access channels or community radio channels, and whereas communities will benefit from increased general awareness of viewing audiences for and creators of media content created by and for the community, and whereas Metro East community media plays a vital role in the building our community by encouraging conversations among our common interests, increasing discourse around policy issues, fostering understanding of local cultures, and sharing information to improve our lives. Now, therefore, I, Ted Tostrud, Mayor of the City of Fairview, proclaim October 20th, 2016, as Community Media Day within the City of Fairview and encourage all citizens in Fairview to join in this observation. Proclaimed and signed and sealed this day, the 19th day of October 2016 in the City of Fairview, Oregon. Thank you. Certainly. Apologize for the interruption. I'm Monica Weitzel from Metro East. I'm the Director of Community Relations. I just want to thank you, Mayor, and the Council for, for um, recognizing this. We really value our relationship with the City of Fairview and being able to air these meetings on our channels, showing the transparency of government is really important. We have Sarah in the back working hard right now videotaping this. So we just wanted to thank you, and we look forward to many more years of, of partnering with you. Thank, thank you. you. Whereas the sharing of ideas and information helps to build common understanding and common values within a community, and whereas access to information in today's media environment is critical for the healthy functioning of our community, and whereas community media organizations provide a means for diverse communities to tell their stories, hear each other's stories, and create new stories together, and whereas community media organizations provide information to the community that is not covered by mainstream commercial media, and whereas community media organizations provide people with the skills necessary for the creation, sharing, and consumption of knowledge and ideas through media, and whereas community media is an important resource for participating in local democratic policy and processes, and whereas community media connects community organizations, schools, and local governments to their constituents, whereas in many communities, people are not aware of the diverse and valuable programming of public education and government access channels or community radio channels, and whereas communities will benefit from increased general awareness of, viewing audiences for, and creators of media content created by and for the community. Now therefore, I, Patricia Smith, proclaim that October 20th, 2016 is hereby Community Media Day within the city of Wood Village, and all people are called upon to promote the importance of community media, training avail available at Metro East Community Media, and programming available on local access channels, Comcast 11, 21, 22, 27, 29, 30, and Frontier 22, 32, 33, 35, 37, and 38. I further proclaim that Metro East community media plays a vital role in the building our community by encouraging conversations 
about our common interest, increasing discourse around policy issues, fostering understanding of local cultures, and sharing information to improve our lives. Proclaim this 19th day of October, actually it's the 24th, 2016. Thank you very, very much, Madam Mayor. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Speech. <laughs> you know, I know that's a lot. You know, kind of I know, can I? Did a communications did professional prepare that proclamation? <laughs> Whereas they did. It sounds like they always do, right? Whereas they did. I think a lawyer wrote that. It's been a, you know, just over 100 days since I started my job and since I got to meet you with the transfer from Rob Brading and his wonderful 24 years and my now maiden voyage as the new CEO uh, at Metro East Community Media. And I'm having a blast. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll recall that evening very wisely, Councillor Clark invited us to Wood Village Night Out. Uh -huh. I have some thumb drives for you of the video that was made of that by one of our interns who lives in the area wanted to expand his ability to get a body of work as he's decided he wants to pursue this as a secondary career to his, his work as a professional musician. And so we said, hey, we're coming out to Wood Village Night Out. Here's your assignment. And he worked very closely with um, Seth Ring, who's our training producer on staff. And this was his project. He was very diligent about it and um, wanted to bring these over to you all on thumb drives. I don't know what they're appropriate. I can give these to you, Greg, and you can pass them out to the uh, counselors. But um, so your promo's on there to be used however you want for promoting and telling, the, sharing the good news with the city. If you do a state of the city or whatever, you can use that. We're airing it on um, Metro East Community Media on our channel. So people you know, will see it and have good memories of summer, especially as it gets more rainy oh, oh, and, nice. um, and anticipate next year. So thank you for, thank you. for having yeah. us and, you know, and I'm, I'm having a great time. I've had a chance to now, you know, meet throughout the, uh, the, the, the five city jurisdiction that we're in and get to know some of you and, you know, see your, your residents and, 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 and just have a really, really good time. <coughs> and, um, I'm enjoying it. I'm still smiling. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, uh, one of our board members, Clark Santi, and his wife, Christine, live uh, on the same street as uh, the commissioner. I don't know if I should say it on TV. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I see it. It works both ways. I forget it's on TV. But I would, had a great spaghetti dinner, and, you know, part good. of the lure is if I want to have more, you know, I've got to keep, you know, doing great things uh -huh. uh, for Wood Village. It's really cool to see um, your projects growing and you know just came down the street and saw the new Subaru plant opened up and uh, you know it's just amazing to that's just see. Gresham is that, I thought that was you guys we don't say the G word oh I'm sorry <laughs> I could have oh, one big happy <laughs> thing <laughs> well, okay, well, when I come the other way and I see the new casino you know <laughs> there you go there you go I'm still, I'm still, there you go. Well, okay, gosh, I'm putting my foot all in my mouth. The, the, the entertainment complex. The new entertainment complex. The new entertainment complex. The entertainment complex. Just think, it's just announced here. Right? <laughs> yes, I think it was. I don't I'm know. going by what I read in the outlook. Oh, the outlook. Oh, okay. It'll, it'll be in the next one, by the way. Thanks to you. Thank you. But I, I, I'm, see, I'm still a rookie. I'm having a good time getting to the uh, area. Fun breaking bread with people at their homes and coming to the events and uh, you know just seeing our, 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 our facility continue to be vital to the people mm. and, and your recognition on this is just wonderful our national organization was wanting to you know um, begin this new uh, celebration of community media during free speech week which was last week that's the significance of October mm -hmm. 20th it was during yeah. free speech week and it's just it's great to live in a country where we can host people to tell their stories, share their culture, share their ideas, share their thoughts, share their beliefs, um, and to debate each other and to be able to host that on our numerous channels. It's, it's a wonderful thing. Yeah. And so um, it's also great that you all have come online and make your council meetings available to the public to mm -hmm. see um, so that um, you know, they can see how their government is working. Mm -hmm. and, you know, learn about INIs and SDCs, and you know, I'm googling in the back. What's INI mean? <laughs> so I'm, I'm a little bit more. I'm a little bit more. I'm a little bit more informed now. But just 
you know, as old preacher told me, blessed are the brief, for they shall be invited back. <laughs> so, I'll shut up there. I'll give these to Mr. Dirks, and he can, he can, you know, make sure they're okay and distribute them to everybody, make sure all the protocols are okay. But there's some videos Thank on there you. for you. Thank you. Well, we appreciate Thanks, Metro East. It's a vital part of our community. It really is. And we appreciate you, and thank you for for that and for everything you're doing. Well, we, can, we look forward to continuing to be a good neighbor. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. I right, appreciate it. Thank you, counselors.